Welcome to another tutorial. This time I'll show you how to be more productive by making use of the mouse gestures. A mouse gesture is a move you do with your mouse while holding the right button down. The application recognizes the move and reacts accordingly. Let's start with something basic. Draw a stroke with the brush tool. Then undo the stroke with a mouse gesture. Press the right mouse button, move the mouse to the left and release the button. The red line helps you see the mouse gesture in progress. You can redo with a similar gesture. Instead of moving left, move the mouse right to redo the last undone action. The undo function also cancels shapes in progress as the escape key. The down right gesture applies the drawn shape just like the enter key. You can also undo image filters. Practice the undo gesture for a while. Right click in the image editor to bring up the context menu and select the mouse gestures command to see the configuration window. There are 26 gestures and you can assign an action to any of them. As you can see, the right-left gesture is configured to swap primary and secondary color. Let's see how it works. You can also exchange colors while drawing. If I switch to gradient filling, the color swap will invert the gradient. Let's see what other gestures are pre-configured. When a gesture is selected, the right side of the window shows configuration of the assigned action. The up-right and up-left gestures rotate the image by 90 degrees. The gestures let you intuitively rotate landscape and portrait photos. Undo the rotation with the well-known undo gesture. The cross gesture turns on automatic zoom. Let's configure the Z gesture to desaturate the image. Select it, pick the color adjustment operation and set saturation to zero. works ok. While we are at it, test the cross gesture to turn on automatic zoom. Now let's get to the configuration again. A gesture is not a picture. You must follow the path from beginning to end. Not just draw the same image. This is especially important with the circle gesture we are going to configure now. Let's assign the rotation filter to the circle gesture and test it. What if I wanted to configure the rotation angle manually? Well, instead of directly using the rotation filter, we must use the display configuration filter and use the rotation internally. Also, select the image viewer as the preview handler. You do not need to use all these gestures, but it is well worth the effort to actively use at least the undo, redo and apply gestures. After a while, you will start wondering how could you ever lift without these gestures. 
Thanks for watching.